give it up for the girls full figure, thicker. Thicky, thicky, thick, 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 thick. Bad bitch just walked in the room. Oh yeah. Everybody in this bitch gotta make more. What's up, family? So I already showed you how I make my Italian antipasti pasta salad. Today I'm about to show you how I make my Greek pasta salad. Okay, so let's get into it. So I already boiled my pasta, it's still hot. You wanna season and dress your pasta while it's still warm. I feel like it just absorbs better. So this right here is two pounds of garden rotini that I just boiled. Okay. Y'all see the steam, it's still hot. Just for the flavor wise, okay. I'm going to add half a cup of zesty Italian dressing, okay? Next, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Remember, I'm making a big full-size pan of this, so you can always add or take off what you need. Next, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of some Maldon sea salt. This is just a nice flaky sea salt. Yeah, look how cute my sea salt holder is. What? Let me know if y'all want me to link this. It's mad cute. Next, I'm going to add in some of my seasoning. Okay, of course, a link in bio. It don't get no better. If you don't have this, use something like adobo with pepper. Not too much. Next, I'm going to add in some coarse ground black pepper. Some minced garlic. A little bit of complete seasoning. Now I'm going to give this a nice stir. Yeah, that smells good already. Next, I'm going to add in a packet of this Greek salad dressing mix. Right here, I have half of a big old English cucumber. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into chunks. Just half moons. I'm gonna cut up this whole medium size red onion. Yeah, look at my new utility knife I got for Amazon. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to link this. I love this knife. It's like a cross between a serrated bread knife and a utility knife, but it's called a utility knife. A serrated, it is called a serrated utility knife. Look at it. It's from Farberware. I love it. So cute. So on your pasta salad, you want to do it like nice, big, chunky veggies. Next, we're gonna slice up some super sweet cherry tomatoes. That's just a little shy of a pint. I'm just slicing them in half, just so the juices can release from them.
All right, so my battery died. Hopefully everything is still everything. So right here I have a 13.75 ounce of artichoke hearts. I drained them and I'm just gonna give it a quick rough chop because they're just in quarters and you want a little smaller pieces. Just cutting the quarters in half. Right here I have a 12 ounce jar of sliced roasted red bell peppers that I drained. Add that. They're in slices so you don't need to drain them if they're whole, just cut them into slices. Next I have an 8 ounce chunk of feta. I cut this into chunks. Next, I'm going to toss in some fresh parsley. Now, we're just going to give this a big stir. Mm. Right here is where you take a pasta, test it, see if it's good on the salt. Mmm. That is really good. Now that we mix this up, I'm going to add in uh, how many ounces? A 3.8 ounce can of um, some sliced black olives. I like to do the olives at the end because you want to see them and they could easily get lost in the pasta salad. I'm gonna take some crumbled feta and dress the top. A little more of that fresh parsley. And there you go. This is my Greek pasta salad. It's super easy, super flavorful. Great for these warmer months coming up. Try it when you do. Don't forget to uh, tag me so I see your version of the recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Bye, guys. Whoa, don't slip up,